I don't know about you, but I've always wished that I had like a personal doctor or a personal health consultant with me. And in the age of AI, that should be like probably the easiest thing for us to get it. But with chat GPT, it is always difficult and enter MediSearch. MediSearch is a YC backed company and what they've done is they've got this search engine thing where you can go and ask a medical question and it would answer your question with medical references and I think it is quite amazing for the fact that if you compare the answers if you go and ask chat GPT the same question chat GPT being chat GPT like trying to be always correct or always neutral so it would give you all these kind of extensive answers like you can see this thing but if you go to MediSearch and ask this question you've got two modes one you've got a concise mode second you've got a detail mode the detail mode is quite not as chat GPT detail you get this links that helps you go ahead and then see so they give you this entire picture and also they give you this references so you if you decide to go down that rabbit hole you can go down that rabbit hole and then understand why such a thing is either good or bad so the website is medisearch.io medi search.io so their claim is that direct science based search to answers to medical questions an interesting thing is that they've used a benchmark that is, I think, used for a U.S. medical examination. So they've used this self-assessment benchmark performance from the U.S. medical examination. And they have claimed that ChatGPT has scored 58% in that. GPT-4 has scored 87% in that. But MediSearch has scored 92% in that. Like, it is like more than 90%. It's way, way above every other large language model that we have got in this particular space. And I think that is one thing that makes it exciting. Like I never wanted to make a video about a specific product, which is definitely not sponsored. So I wanted to make this video primarily because I found this really interesting, like having a medical consultant or having a health consultant in your pocket uh, to ask questions that you typically would need to book an appointment with a doctor and then ask, or you have to Google it, right? And a lot of times these days, Google is filled with this SEO filled articles. It's very hard to trust what to ask, whom to ask, whether to trust this website or not. But I found that MediSearch is probably somewhere in the middle where, you know, it still gives you these websites, but I kind of trust MediSearch more because it gives us the summarized response. Let's go and ask a couple of questions to MediSearch and then let's look at the API in and itself. The first to start with, let's ask some very simple question. I'm going to just ask, like there is a very popular medicine called Dolo 650 in India. So I'm going to just ask, is Dolo 650 the right medicine for body pain? Again, please do not do this thing. Like if uh, always take professional advice from a medical professional. I mean, that's a disclaimer for uh, for everything. But I find it really fascinating that, like I said, like you can go ask question. It says there may not be enough suffi sufficient evidence to answer exactly. The articles provided do not mention Dolo 650 or its use in treating body pain. It's important. Okay, let me ask the same question. So I can go and ask. So can I use Dolo 650 for fever? So let me ask a follow up question because this is basically a paracetamol medicine and during COVID time, like everybody was so interested in this medicine. So it says, okay, can be used for fever and reducing fever and it's important to follow the dosage and all these things. Let me ask another medical question. So I'm going to say, what is the use of Ascoril LS? So this is again a medicine that is usually suggested when you have got cough and this is particularly when you have got cough with phlegm. So it says Ascoril LS is a medication Typically used to relieve symptoms of cough and chest congestion. It has got three active ingredients and you can see all these active ingredients which uh, loosens the mucus in your lungs and it also tells you what it can do. So this is the concise mode, but if you want like the detailed answer, so you can go ahead and then search for the detailed answer. Now detailed answer takes a little bit of time because in your, it is actually detailed, but um, it, oh, in this case, it didn't give the detailed answers. That's quite surprising. Uh, one of the reason why you can never trust AI for everything but anyways it actually gives good answers like i really liked it the way the the tool is at this point the tool seems to be free i'm not sure like what uh, what the what the direction that they want to take this product with this is an oic funded company so it's possible that they are trying to capture users there is no there is a sign in form but you can literally use this without sign in at this point and they have not mentioned any rate limits at this point at least the good thing here is that they've also given you an API. So you can enter all the details here and then sign up for an API access. So they're saying like they'll reply to you within a day or so, but they've also put together a Google collab notebook for you to just try it out. Like if you have got the API access, how would you do it? And I found it again fascinating. It's so simple to use it. 
all you have to do is install a python library called midi search client this is a client and you need like json and uuid and once you have that import from midi search client import midi search client once you do that probably i think this might go through some kind of changes because the company is in such an early stage then you set the api key and then you set the conversation id and then you invoke the client and after that you have to just make query like for example if you ask the question does depression increase the chances of heart attack and uh, you take the query and then put together in this format and send the user message and now you're going to get the responses like this you're going to get the responses and um, you can stream the responses and the way if you stream the response like for example let's say you've got a web application or you've got a radio application then you can basically stream the responses like this and then it it is going to stream until you have got the final answer so it says as depression can increase the chances of heart disease research has uh, found out that depression is a risk factor and all these kind of information and also it's not just like a one time question and answering system it holds the context back so this is a very simple search query that we made so you have got the query you made the search query sent the message got the responses and then replied but you can also ask follow up questions like for example you know already for that particular conversation id for the conversation id that we just said you know that the question already we have asked is about you know depression and heart disease so the follow up query that you can ask is like by what percentage does this depression increase risk of heart disease now you can send this question once again so you have got a follow up query you have got the initial query the text response which is what you got then the follow up query and then the conversation id the language should you stream the response or no and then print the response when you print the response you would actually notice that one you get this you know like what is the event which is the llm response one the response it is so you get that simple text here and with the references along with the references you also get the url so i mean programmatically this is much much easier for you to handle than the web interface that they've given but overall it is quite simple like uh, it's a simple google collab notebook that they've put together i'll link the google collab notebook in the youtube description most likely it will work i guess like uh, this is the temporary api key that they've shared here but anyways if you get access to this uh, you just have to fill out the form then you can use this google collab notebook and then try it out like if you want we can just start with this very simple query so let me show you i'm going to copy this come back here i just genuinely hope that they let you do it i don't want to stream and i'm going to ask a simple question what is the best medicine for body pain i don't have a body pain just because i'm asking questions about body pain you don't have to think i have body pain so i'm just asking a simple question so what is the best medicine for body pain and uh, i've got the query i've got the conversation id i've got the language set and i don't want it to stream the responses which means i don't want it to be in this for loop where uh, you have to see word by word and i just want to see the responses okay the best medicine for body pain can vary depending upon the individual and cause of the pain non steroidal in anti inflammatory drugs nsaids like ibuprofen are commonly used for pain relief other options include aceto acetaminophen um, opioids and you have got like all these medicines vitamin b12 also has been explored as um, for body pain um, pain treatment and you have got all these references from pubmed definitely like um, it's a, it's a publication and um, it's a source that probably you can trust and you have got this med medline plus dot gov so now if you want me follow up questions you can make a follow up question like by adding like for example the query the response and again your new query but overall this makes it really simple like for example if you want to build a chatbot and if you want the chatbot to answer medical related questions i think it doesn't it doesn't uh, take a lot of brain to figure out that this is a solution that you should be ideally using because of the flexibility and the reliability that it provides i don't see a lot of information about the pricing at this point once again i don't understand what is the direction that they want to take this company with but for the existing product for the existing search engine i am really impressed by what the team has put together and um, and yeah this is medi search for you what they are saying is direct science based answers to medical questions please try it out let me know in the comment section what do you feel about having an ai based medical assistant like where you can continuously question and answer like i i mean to be really honest like i'm not a guy who just goes to doctor and blindly doctor suggests something and i'm like oh doctor thank you so much you have helped me save my life uh, i always have that skeptical lens to see why is the doctor suggesting this some doctors are very open in uh, uh, saying 
what is the medicine for some or not uh, from the place where I come from. So it's always good to have a search engine like this that can actually answer medical related question. Uh, once again, just to, as a disclaimer, this video is not definitely not sponsored by anybody at all. So this is just me making it out of interest because I like this product. Let me know in the comment section, what do you feel about this application, like uh, the medicinal application of LLMs and the AI. If you have any other question, uh, let me know in the comment section. Otherwise, happy prompting.